Ladies and gentlemen, today we found a pristine 2007 Country Coach Magna 630. And we found Louie, who's got a lot of Country Coach wisdom. Louie, what's some of your background with Country Coach, sir? Boy, it's been a while, but I started in 1996 washing motorhomes, just like you, Andrew. And then I started doing factory tours uh, from 96 to 2001, and then became a regional sales manager in 2002 for Country Coach. And we're here at Premier RV of Oregon. Now, this is where this Country Coach Magna was built? Oh, definitely. Um, lots of history here. Uh, all the Magnas and Affinities were built in this plant. This was called Plant 10. Before that, this was actually um, Monaco, um, where they started. So. And how long has Premier RV of Oregon yeah. been here? We started in 2010, August of 2010, so coming up on our 13th year. Now this coach behind you, out of all the coaches in your showroom, this one really is drawing me in. What is the story on this coach? I really like this coach a lot. It's a 2007. Country Coach Magna. The miles are at 73,000. We're asking 249,000. You know, people always ask me about the price and everything, but for me, it's about the condition of the motorhome. And this is one of the best 2007 Magnas that we've had here. Um, they've done a lot of upgrades and we'll go through all that, but the, the, the paint and everything is in fantastic shape. And it kind of just shows you how well a coach is built. And I think Country Coach, I'm a little biased, but I think they're one of the best manufacturers as far as their chassis and their construction and their fit and finish. And there's lots of examples with this coach. Now I wanna ask you more about the Country Coach build quality and what separates this from other motorhomes, but what's different about Premier RV of Oregon over other RV dealerships out there? Boy, the biggest difference, I think, is the people that we have here as far as our team. Uh, we have about 25 employees. Everyone has either worked at Monaco or Country Coach. We're all very knowledgeable. You know, a lot of the questions we get from people is, hey, can I get an inspection done on a motorhome? We're really, really thorough when we sell a coach. We check everything on the motorhome. You can see down here, we lift the coach up. We do a complete chassis, suspension, shocks, everything we're looking at. And I think that really separates us, that people really want to have the comfort that they bought from someone that really inspected the coach very well. And the other thing I think that really makes a big difference is that we're really picky on our inventory. We really try to hand pick them. There's a lot of coaches that we actually turn down and they'll go to another dealer and they'll try to sell them. So if it's not up to our standards, we really don't want anything to do with it. You guys did an extensive remodel on this coach, but I recently saw on your Premier RV of Oregon YouTube channel, you guys just did a video on an extensive remodel. I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below. Are we gonna see more content coming to your channel soon? We're trying, we're gonna start trying to compete with Andrew Steele. Just get in there, uh, we can't compete with you, Andrew. You do a great job and we really appreciate everything that you've done for us as a company. Um, it's amazing how many people walk in through our doors and say, hey, I looked at this video and we want to look at your inventory. It's uh, pretty cool. So you've done a really good job. Well, I appreciate that. And you guys have so much cool stuff going on. Unfortunately, I live on the other side of the country and can't film it all. But I'll tell you what, if we can get a thousand people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, you think we could start seeing some more YouTube videos from you guys? I think that would motivate us to start doing a little bit more. So. I like it. I appreciate all of you guys that go subscribe to Premier RV of Oregon. I'll leave a link to that channel in the description below. But what is going on with this coach, sir? Boy, it's uh, like we were talking about earlier, it's all about condition. Uh, it's a really good floor plan, but the paint and everything on this coach is in fantastic shape. Um, again, it's a 2007 Country Coach Magna. It's powered with a 600 Cummins with no emissions on that engine, which is a beautiful thing. So the, no DEF, that was 2010 and newer, and no particulate filter on this engine. So that's a really good thing. And what's the towing capacity on this coach? Uh, 15,000. Diesel fuel tank? 150 gallons. And fresh water holding tanks? 100 gallons. And black and gray? Uh, about 70, actually 67 on uh, gray and about 60 on black. You, you rattled those answers off pretty quickly. I think we can finally get some more information out of you. What, yeah. uh, what else is going on with this coach? Oh, just um, typical country coach Magna with the shape of their front end. Uh, they just have a nice curve rather than being straight. The body style is a body style, in my opinion, that will never go away. This look that they did is, is amazing. You know, with the awnings up on the roof, gives it that clean look, which everyone's looking for. This was the beginning. They started this body style in 2005. It's uh, 2007. It's been really refined in the sense of going through manufacturing. Absolutely. Uh, 365 tires up front. 
Wow, you noticed that, huh, Andrew? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, do you know what the date codes are on these tires? Uh, I'm going to go with these are 2018 from what I remember. That's pretty, if you can remember date codes, that's pretty impressive because you guys have a lot of nice coaches coming and going. Was well, I've had a lot of interest on this coach, but uh, what you're getting to on here is normally this would have a 315 size tire. This owner actually changed out the rim and the tire to 365s. A little wider profile tire. You don't have to put as much air into the tire, so kind of smooths out the ride up on the front end a little bit, which is a beautiful thing. I actually drove this coach from California to here, and it was one of the best magnets that I've ever driven. It was really tight and soft, and that's what you want. Awesome, well let's yeah. take a look at these basement bays. Yeah. And this does have the big Girard patio awnings up top as well? They're not Girard, but they're lookalikes. They're actually carefree. And interesting part on that, they decided not to use Girards because they're more boxy. Uh, they went with carefree because they built them to match our front facade right here. Okay. So kind of an interesting nuance there. So Country never used Gerard awnings up on the roof like everyone else. They went with a better fit and finish with a carefree. I learn something every Great. time I talk with you, and I'm sure we're going to learn yeah. a lot more going through this coach. But let's take a closer look at these bays. Now, uh, before the bays, I'm noticing a compartment up here and then a diesel fuel. Uh, yeah. What's going on? Uh, yeah, so this one's for your fuel. It's a dual fill. You could fill from either side, 150-gallon tank. This one's more of an access to get to the sensors for the fuel tank, more of a service related item. So that's what that is. Right here is bay number one, and this is gonna have the bay entertainment, which this one was done aftermarket, but it'll pull out and slide out. And a little LCD TV or LED TV, it looks like. It looks like a couple extra chairs for the dinette as well. And outside speakers that are controlled through the receiver inside the coach. One of the things that I think that separates country coaches from a lot of the other brands out there would be that most of them are going to use aluminum doors. They're straight, they have no character to them. By using fiberglass, they could put a little character to this, you know, a little design feature to it. And also, it's Fiberglass is a better insulator than a metal door where that's a conductor of heat and cold. So you're going to get much better insulation inside the coach by using fiberglass. The other big benefit is if you ever scrape this, you could patch it up and, and paint over it and redo it rather than replacing the whole uh, aluminum siding. So yeah, That makes sense. Yes, sir. And, and if you ever do scrape it, you guys can do body work here at Premier RV of Oregon. Yeah, we have three of the best painters uh, where we do a lot of paint work. So. Is there anything that you guys can't do on a country coach here at Premier RV of Oregon? We don't have an alignment rack, but there's a local place that does alignment. So. Nice. Yeah. That's Bay number two is a full pass-through. What's really cool, these are all insulated, the carpet on it, they even do it up, carpet up on the rails. So again, fit and finish we were talking earlier, country coach. You just don't see stuff done like this anymore. People don't take the detail to finish the inside of a bay like this anymore. Yes, sir. Uh, the dual directional tray. Looks like it needs to be vacuumed out a little bit, but actually in really good condition. The other question I get a lot actually, and I to explain to people is country coach they say well why didn't they do side hinge bay doors on this side of the coach and the reason being is so this is above the floor a lot of slide rooms on this side go down into here and so what that causes is you doing a side door so you could get easier access i get that but you see how these doors if it was a side hinge door it'd be like that you know yep this angle it makes it a lot easier to get into your bays actually so i really like that feature why Country Coach didn't do side hinged bay doors on this side. They did them on the driver's side because that slide room's 32 inches. Now this one's about 24 inches in depth. So that's the reasoning. Okay, one other thing I noticed while you were showing me that is the bottom of the slide room is totally finished out. When we look at some of the other production coaches, so this is a late model production motor home this is the kind of stuff you're going to see just not quite as finished out as that magna. Yeah, so you can see the bottom of this magna slide just much more finished out. And then also, too, you're not seeing any screws here. Some of the production coaches, you're going to see screws, but I love how this is finished out. The paint job runs through that slide room. A lot, lot, lot of differences between the country coaches over other coaches, huh? Well, that's the difference between country coach is the detail to the finish. You know, back in the day when we were building coaches in here, it would be 60 working days to build a country coach. And a lot of our competitors, Monaco and some of the other brands out there, uh, 
probably looking at 20 to 30 day working days as far as. So these are prime examples of fit and finish. And what Country Coach never does is skimp on that. So. And what was different about Country Coach? What caused Country Coach to hold their employees to such a higher level? Start at the top, Bob Lee. I mean, the, the man was incredible and he came from the aerospace industry. So he brought a lot of those things into the build structure of Country Coach. When Country Coach went from one line to another line, it never would move from that line to that one until it was inspected by the, the manager of that um, station. So. Uh, and then they'd have to sign off at the book. At the end of the coach's build process, there would be a book about that thick with every employee's signature that had anything to do with that motorhome. No one takes the time to do, to do that. So that was an incredible thing that Country Coach did. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. So. Yeah, well, the end product really shows. And you guys, at one point, were converting like over 20 Prevos a year and building how many coaches a year was country coach building at at the peak uh 2007 to 2008 was about 650 country coaches so i think they're doing about 16 a week from what i remember wow four would only come out of this plant at a magna finish they couldn't build more than four coaches a week just couldn't get it done so four a week here and then there's you know all the other plants that built about 12 you know inspires i think was eight and then allures and intrigues about four or six or I don't have the map, but it was 16 away. Decades. Yeah, you're going yeah. way back. But, uh, you know, they weren't a huge manufacturer as far as numbers. Uh, I think they were more into the quality build than the number game. Yeah, you've been around Country Coach. I know you don't like to uh, name drop or anything, but even before your RV wash days, I heard a rumor your dad worked for Country Coach too? Yeah, uh, my dad started in 1990, and uh, he was the president of Country Coach until he retired in 2002. So, um, yeah, no, that's why once the day my dad retired, I, I kind of moved up within the company. Um, he was just one of those guys that he didn't like to, he wanted me to earn everything. And um, so I was washing motorhomes and doing factory tours for a long time. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of stories I'd love to yeah. hear. May, we might have to get some more of those stories on your guys' YouTube channel, but let's keep <laughs> taking a look at this beautiful mag. Yeah, so bay number three, we've got no, another full pasture bay. So as you can see, lots of storage. Not just storage, but the height of the storage is so key. Because when you build a semi-monocoque chassis and instead of a raised rail, you're going to get superior height inside the storage bay. This cover's off right now because this is an electrical bay and you have your inverter and other things there. What Country Coach did really well is they kept their inverters and a lot of other electrical items inside this bay away from the elements. It also has a pin switch so you can have the light that automatically comes on if, you, if it's on in there. And it's also part of your alarm system. So if someone came in and opened one of these doors, the alarm would sound if you had it armed. You could just see the paint on this. Look at it, the, the Sickens paint, how the, the metallics are just popping through and the gold. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, the camera doesn't do justice, but you can tell this, is, this coach has been well cared yeah, for. Everywhere this coach, the, the paint on this is, is incredible. And I'm seeing some lights up there. Um, I think it's it's kind of bright in here, but does this coach have like an under uh, LED lighting package? Yeah, or? he actually had the, the little um, LED lights underneath. I think they're blue. And he also has them up on the awnings. You could kind of see them there. We could pull them out and you'll see the LED lights. So we do a lot of that stuff also. Everyone wants to everything look good outside. So a little extra lighting always helps, right? Absolutely, yes, sir. Hey, look at that house battery bank. You got six uh, 8D. Yeah. There's a non-maintenance uh, AGM. That's for your house. So this is an all electric coach. So when you had that option, instead of having four for the house, you would get six house batteries. Do you know uh, what the date codes are on the batteries? Um, from what I remember from this owner, they're like two or three years old. So the batteries, uh, they tested well. We've already done an inspection on this coach. This thing's ready to roll. It checked out extremely well. And we have a really good relationship with the owner. I think he's done service here for the last six or seven years. Nice. People come from all over to do service here so that, you know, when they're ready to sell their coach, they like what we do and they let us sell them. And that's um, pretty cool that we have that relationship with them. A lot of value in buying the coach from someone that serviced the coach. Well, when you have the history with it, it really makes it easy for me to say, hey, well, we did all this to it. This thing is in primo condition. Yeah, if you buy a country coach that has some deferred maintenance, that, that can add up pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you could notice that really quick. You know, we turn down probably three or four coaches a month 
uh, just because uh, it doesn't pass the smell test, you might say. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I respect that. And a lot of value with having a coach that you guys have, been, have taken care of. Yeah. yeah. So what's going on in the next bay? So since it's all electric, there's no propane in this bay. So this is the backside of the plumbing bay. So you have your fresh water at the bottom and your black and gray tanks on top. This is just an access right here to get into any of the sensors for the holding tanks. Um, but you get a little bit of storage, extra belt or two, fuel filters or whatever is in here. Then you'll see the drive axle. You got four tires here and then the tag. And people always ask me this question is why isn't the dish resembling that being in versus being out. And the reason why Country Coach did that is that they're very conscious about GVWs and net carrying capacity. When you do this, just like a Prevo bus, you could put the rating on the tag axle at 14,000 pounds, where when the dish is in, it's actually 10. So this coach actually has a GVW of 52,000, and we got that with the 18,000 pound front end, 20 on the drive axle, and then 14 on the tag. So a lot of the other Competitors at this time were about 4,000 pounds less carrying capacity than a country coach. So, pretty cool. Yeah, that adds up, definitely. Yeah. Right here is gonna be your cranking batteries. So you get two large 8Ds to crank. So that's a lot of cranking power. These are big engines and they need a lot of electricity to get them going. So. Yes, sir. Uh, that also is gonna be your air filter for your engine. 2021 date code on that. I don't like that. This is your service bay right here, and uh, that holds eight quarts of oil. If the engine ever gets low on oil, you could uh, push this pump switch right here up, and you could start slowly adding oil to the engine. Now, this doesn't really happen too often. This is a rarity because these engines don't really burn that much oil. So, but if nice, did, nice to have. Yes, sir. Yeah. A couple fuses, and then an air indicator for your air filter so when this thing creeps up the red then you start changing out that air filter it's like 2021 date codes on those chassis batteries so this has got the cummins isx and what's the towing capacity again uh, 15,000. a lot of a lot of towing capacity yeah yeah that, that'll tow anything pretty much this is really one of the best engines that i've ever driven uh and i drive a lot and uh this 600 cummins it just gets you up the hills like no other engine that I've ever been in. So I, I really like it. Um, again, there's no emissions and stuff like that on this engine. Yeah, a lot of value in an 07. I think this was the last year before the particulate filter. Yeah, mid-year of 2008, a lot of the manufacturers back then were buying up engines. So the, the change came about mid-year of 2008 for Country Coach. And that's where they had to redesign and they put the batteries. They had to move your cranking batteries up to that plumbing bay. And then they would have to use the particulate filter in this area. Okay. So that's the difference. Okay, then yeah, going back to the back of the coach here, I like to point out all these little details like these stripes go through the fins with the silver. I mean, this is just detail work that you're just not seeing. Just beauty of the back cap, uh, you know, all the lines and then all the details of the facade up here with the back brake light and everything. People always ask, why doesn't it have a ladder? Because the ladder's about $75 and they don't look very expensive. Um, <laughs> and to take away from this beautiful paint job, and really it's better just to get a telescoping ladder in my opinion. And, yeah, I agree. But if you want a ladder, we'll get you a ladder. <laughs> okay, yes, sir. It has the backing for a ladder, so it's, it's really not that big of a deal. And I love that Country Coach logo on the mud flap. And you can just see, you know, sometimes these mud flaps get mangled up, but it's in really good condition. Yeah, you can see a lots of pride of ownership on this one. But here's your plumbing bay. What I liked also is that they did it so it's a pentagraphic hardware, so really easy access to get into and then it's got your dump for your black and gray this right here is your water filter for the coat you got a electric water hose reel right here you can flush both your tanks black and gray cleaning stuff direct fill to the fresh water tank 100 gallons really nice that they did stainless i think we started doing stainless on these in 2007 so it just kind of keeps everything cleaner that way absolutely yeah i love the little country coach logo in there and they even give you a little storage for your sewer hose super clean and i gotta take a step back here because this rear slide room is huge uh, is this a bigger slide room than we usually see on other country coaches or it's about the same size as a lot of the oh from 05 to 08 in the sense that they take the sink and the bed out together so that's what you're seeing here okay 
Um, and what that does is really open up the floor plan back in the back bedroom. When you're getting out of the shower, you have a lot more space, and I'll show you that when we're inside. Yes, sir. But the other thing that Country Coach does is that they, when they do their slides, they fit into the side wall of the coach, where instead a lot of motorhomes, they fit here. This is actually gonna go into the inside wall. So the fit and finish of this when the slides are in is way superior than a lot of other brands where they have the bigger flange piece right here and they come here to seal up. Yes, sir. So again, small details that Country Coach is really all about the fit and finish. Absolutely. So, Aqua Hot is right here. This is the big boy one. Oh yeah. What was that, 50,000 BTU? Yeah. They went to the larger one in 07. So this slide changed in 07 also. Uh, where it doesn't have any ram arms underneath. It's a little cleaner look and you don't have the table behind the driver's seat like the 05s and the 06. So 07, they changed this slide room and they went to the bigger Aqua Hot rather than the Hydro Hot. Pretty cool. This has the Dirt Devil central back. There's probably the thing right here. And you'll notice that this is a side hinge door. So we could do them and we did them on this side because again, look how low the slide is versus the other side. This is the chat, the the floor right here so it's dipped down you know five inches and it's coming out 32 inches so it's just easier to get to a side hinge and then of course everything country coach does you can put all your weight on this door and <laughs> this thing's going nowhere yes sir and what i like it is i mean how many sure. motorhomes can you do that with an aluminum door i mean you're usually going up here and doing your leg to it to lock it and oh yeah all that stuff not on this so. especially if you just put all your body weight i remember the first time you did that we did a country coach intrigue walkthrough and that blew my mind i'd yeah. never seen anything like it just shows the strength of country coach yeah well and the dynamax chassis so this is on the dynamax chassis what's different about the dynamax chassis wow. we've gone for a long time on that one but basically it is is a semi monocoque chassis and country coach has been doing that for a long time, since 1992, when they built the concept. But basically what it is, instead of relying on two rails, like a school bus chassis, they're building a bridge work down below that's gonna eliminate the twisting and the flexing. So when you look at a coach that's a 2007, it's the condition that this one is, it has to do with the foundation of the motorhome. So without that twisting and flexing, the stress isn't going inside the coach. So this is what the, you know, like a Prevo bus is a two million mile chassis. This is basically like a Prevo underneath in that sense. And in fact, Country Coach was a Prevo conversion manufacturer. And I think the high point of the, they did 50 a year actually of the Prevo conversions. When it came time to build their own, what do you do? You follow the best. So what did they do? They looked at the Prevo chassis and they constructed all the bridge work really similar down below. So that eliminates that twisting and flexing. So pretty cool. Lo yeah, a lot of value, really cool story yeah. and incredible company. That really, and, and Country Coach really did what no one else does. Not only did they convert all those Prevos a year, but they were making the highest quality luxury motor coach at the same time. Has anyone else in history even come close to that? In the sense of numbers of? Quality, I'd, I'd say in the sense of quality. Not in the sense of quality, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, Country did about 50 Prevos a year and then 650 of the other units. A lot of high quality coaches. Yeah, you learn when you have that mentality of building a high end coach, you want to bring those processes into all your models. That's one of the things that really made the Inspire so popular is because it was the only coach in that price point that had that semi monocoque chassis. Everything else had a raised rail. Even the Monaco, if you looked at a Camelot, it wasn't a semi-monocoque chassis, it was a raised rail chassis. So being the only coach in that price point made a big difference. And I used to have to do a lot of test drives. Oh my God, those Inspires, they drive really, really well, just like the Magnus. So what they did is they didn't make any separation from the entry level all the way to the top uh, on the chassis in the sense, so. Yeah, no, that, that makes yeah. sense. Pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, what kind of generators in this coach? Yeah, so we'll pull that out. It's. Uh, 12.5 on it and of course everything country coach look how clean it is in here you got a little button here and it'll just pop this thing out it's all electric what you got in here is your pump for your slides uh, you got a lot of fuses and stuff in here uh, for the chassis portion of it all the wiring's color coded and numbered country coach is one of the few manufacturers that they actually have the schematics of all the wiring inside the manuals because when they built these coaches there would be about 200 blueprints in manufacturing where the employees would follow the blueprints to manufacture it so they would build their own wiring harnesses and they would it would be specific to this floor plan so 
it's not like a lot of the other brands where they just run a bunch of wires and you have drops everywhere. Um, countries are a lot different. Yeah, a lot of thought process put yeah. into this. How many hours? Looks like 1,117 hours on the 12.5 Onan diesel generator. I like to see that. It's been used a little bit, not yeah, too much. Typically, probably when they're driving and it's a hot, you want to cool the coach down, that's when you're going to operate that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty low on the, the mile, uh, the hours for the generator. Uh, you'll notice the front end of this thing is just massively built. Yeah. I mean, and the condition of this paint on the front end is in fantastic oh. shape pristine i mean these headlights you can see the plastics and even this stainless piece with that country coach logo really a stunning coach but i'm excited to see inside this coach this had a recent remodel yeah in fact i think we did close to sixty thousand dollars in the over the years on it so yeah let's take a look at that sounds good start with is the the door the size of the door is great you notice the older coaches they're going to be a lot narrower and uh, when they redesigned this whole coach they wanted to get as wide of a door as possible so the access to get in and out of the coach is fantastic uh, a lot of people want to have us put little grab bars this is aftermarket but we put this in just to give them a little help to get in and out of the coach that looks really clean though and yeah and they tile the entry steps here yeah, that's from the factory that way of course and what i really like is these big heavy duty steps uh double step the width of them the width of here to here is huge if you ever walk down a lot of coaches and that last step is about you know really narrow i hit them all the time country really thought this one out so it's a lot of depth and something that you'll appreciate when you're coming in and out of the coach i mean Talking about finish work again, huh? Pretty good. This is ultra leather. Yeah, in excellent condition. I love the little Country Coach logo and the screen door there. It's just small things. They're designed. It's just incredible. This stuff just never goes away. It gets back to the look of the coach. I mean, this look will never go away. Yes, sir. It's way ahead of its time. Now, this is a really cool style in here. What is going on in here? Yeah, some of the upgrades and uh, changes that we've done. We've put this carpet down years ago. Looks really good. They changed out the microwave. Refrigerator's all new. We've been putting a lot of these true induction cooktops in. These are really neat. They, they heat the water up a lot quicker than all the older ones. So some of the upgrades that we've been doing a lot is is that one it's all electric so there's no propane on this coach yeah and that's a good looking couch over there this is something like we would see in a, a brand new two million dollar motorhome is that new or actually this has been reupholstered so. okay i really like that style and how it ties together with the carpets and everything else is that something that you guys do here at premier rv of oregon yeah we recover upholstery uh, all the time you know this is a really good color really comfortable some people like the fabric because it's just a little bit more warmer feel i guess would be rather than ultra leather so you have choices if there's a sofa that you want to change out it's really easy to do and again the driver and passenger seats are in really good condition too yeah let's sit on the cockpit here yeah that same beautiful floor looks like some mats were made using that same carpet i really like that uh, but what else going on in the uh, cockpit area here oh we got hours here I mean, <laughs> this is where you get to go play yeah there's tons of stuff here and uh, obviously we redid the backup camera and your music here so get the pandora or whatever you want all touch screen we've been installing a lot of these lately we do panasonic or kenwood quite a bit nice. um, depending on what people want you know you have your silver leaf right here so this uh, button the vms button turns that on this gives you all your information on your engine and your transmission miles per gallon all these things are done here this is a great item what kind yeah. of fuel mileage do these get on this coach you're kind of probably range from six to seven and a half i know that's a huge range if the coach, when the engine's gonna get broken, you know, with 73,000 miles, I bet you this one will get closer to the seven miles per gallon. I would say six would be worst case. Seven and a half I've driven a lot um, is sometimes what I get. And if you put a 15,000 pound trailer back there, does it go down to five? You know, I don't get to pull <laughs> anything, so I, I, I wouldn't have an answer for that. But I would say when I'm going down a hill, I'm getting about 35 miles per gallon. <laughs> All right. Country coach has really thought out what, really helps out the driver is that if you closed your eyes you would hit the jake brake 
one of the biggest items that you play with going down the hill this has a three stage jig brake so you can manipulate the speed that you're going down depending on that's a six percent or eight percent grade uh, you also have your tag axle switch and then all these other ones right here are ones that you don't play with as much you know like your mirror controls battery boost and uh, you also can uh, tilt and telescope off electric oh, cool so, can you adjust your pedals as well as your steering wheel yeah the pedals are over here yeah for tall guys like me that's huge sometimes the pedals aren't in a comfortable position I can appreciate that. Yeah, and they even, for you, they even make the seat cushion. Look at that. So, if you're long legged. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's cool. That cool. These are my favorite seats. Uh, it's custom fit. Uh, they just have, you're probably noticing it right now, but they're really firm mm -hmm. and they're just not too cushy. So, when you're driving, it's not killing your back. They also have lumbar support. So, there's a, a bladder there. You just push this button and it helps out your back it also has the heat massage i mean it's got everything on it it swivels it'll turn around recline do whatever you want to do big fan of that but the dash is something that really separates country coach with this wrapped piece it's solid it's incredible shape and incredible condition you could tell there weren't pets in this coach yes sir yeah looks like an upgraded samsung tv there is yep. that yeah we, we did that so we upgrade a lot of tvs and this is the newer samsung that we use a lot so you could stream and do all that good stuff watch a little youtube tv on there yeah that's what i do yes sir yeah so this is a really cool floor plan i'm noticing a desk back here by the galley but what else uh going on in this coach no you bring up a great point and that's uh, a lot of people like the Galileo floor plan because of the desk area. They have a special area where they could just leave their computers and their laptops rather than busting it down here and putting it away when you have guests. So it's kind of an established area to you know play with your computer. Yeah, um, a lot of people are working on the road. This is a great floor plan for people working on the road like myself and just so many little details. I want to go more in depth on this coach, but I've got to get a close up of the Stained, stained glass, glass. Yeah. Yeah. Country, some of the things that country coach always did was a little bit of stained glass uh the drink set cabinet i know some people call it the coma cabinet yeah all in really good condition now there. if you didn't want this we do a lot of these where we put a little storage we could actually build a cabinet out of wood and then put some adjustable shelves in here we have our own cabinet shop the guy worked at country coach for 30 years I mean, he matches this wood like no one other. Is, is there any other, is there any type of cabinet work that you guys can't do? No, we do a lot of cabinet work and Chris is one of the best. Nice. Um, he's incredible at what he does. See these radiuses on the cabinets? I mean, beautiful attention to detail. It's all solid wood. You know, you go into a million dollar coach today, you knock on the wood under here and it's just veneer. This is all three quarter inch. And you see what they do here? They do a little curved radius. Oh yeah that's that's labor that's people sanding it down a lot of coaches would come here and then you'd have the cabinet straight across they're not going to spend the time to sand this down and do a radius incredible yes sir and you know all the hardware that they use is really good super clean look at the inside look at that yes sir the carpet and the wallpaper countries use wallpaper on their magnets if any is not wall paneling so this is custom wallpaper yeah the tension to detail a lot of manufacturers kind of pre-do their backsplashes and then they throw them up here these are all done by hand so yes, when you talk about time and the build process 60 days versus 20 or 30 days these are some of the examples of fit and finish this is more of a custom built coach not a line roll where we're going to have a two hundred thousand dollar motorhome being built by the same person that's building a six hundred thousand dollar motorhome or in this case a seven hundred and eighty thousand dollar motorhome so that's why country coach had two different buildings they had magnus and affinities in one plant they had allures and entries in another plant that was a 30-day plant 60-day plant so big difference from the detail good design on the the galley itself uh intellitex which is the light switches so you have multiple areas to turn lights on and off uh, it also reduced the amount of wiring by about 50% inside the coach. So this Intellitech is a really nice system. And then you got little storage areas. Yeah, all super clean. You can tell that carpet. You can sell, tell whoever owned this coach lived super clean. I mean, you can even look at the grout. That's original grout. So these are the original tile yeah, floors? Yeah, this is original. The grout's really white. This is not what you call a live-in unit. It's uh, been well taken care of. But this is also one of the differences. A lot of coaches, you'll see the grout and the tile getting cracked over time countries with that semi-monocoque chassis the foundation they really could withstand that and then people always ask about insulation and stuff like that 
Country coaches are probably the most insulated motor around because the bay doors are fiberglass that dissipates a lot of heat from coming up inside the coach. And then they actually use a two and a half inch thick floor. So it's tube steel, one and a half inch. It's insulated and it has wood on both sides. On the inside, they do a marine grade plywood. And then that's two and a half inches thick that's bolted down to the chassis. And then they what they would do is they'd come over here and they would weld the side walls to the chassis. Most coaches are bolted on because they're using aluminum sidewalls, country used steel. So there's all steel in this coach. It's a steel cage, no aluminum on the sidewalls. This ceiling is five and a half inches thick of insulated material with steel runners going all wow. the way across. You know, when I saw a coach not too long ago, a couple years ago, it was in Colorado somewhere. It was an allure and the coach went off this embankment, flipped over on its side and the whole coach was intact. I was just talking to someone about that the other day. Every other coach except the bus and some of the other brands, that would just be broken apart. It's because of all the steel cages. So Yeah, no, that's very neat. And, uh, it's a lot of the stuff that you can't see that's the quality uh, that, that separates Country Coach. But yeah. a lot of the stuff you can see too, like this beautiful, it's almost like a linen pattern on this, uh, the ceiling. Just the treatment mm -hmm. on the ceiling here is really beautiful. What's going on up there? Yeah, these are access points to get to your roof air. So this panel will just come down and you could get to your roof air right here. And there's another one right here. But yeah, they did a really nice job of just making this really pretty in the sense. This also baffles a lot of the noise from the roof air. So it really makes it a lot less um, quiet inside the coach, but also functional in the sense of getting to your roof airs. These are also LED lights inside this coach where it dissipates a lot of the heat, which is nice. And a really large window over here. This is a lot taller window than we see in most motor homes. What's going on over here? This was a choice. So a lot of people wanted the bigger windows. Yeah. Um, so it was either seating two or seating three. And this is seating three, which is the larger window. Um, these are all electric shades, all controlled above the entry door. You could do them all at once. You could do them individually. But yeah, I really like the big window because it just allows a little bit more light to come inside the coach. And then they did some nice things with the LED lights around it. You know, when you turn all the lights out, you just have that on and you come in. It, it has a really cool look to it. Also, they changed out the refrigerator. So that's a new refrigerator. And we came up with this nifty little piece to keep the door shut. Yes, sir. So kind of. Nothing worse than having your pickles in here and coming and driving down the road and having them fall out, you know? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Samsung refrigerator. Or that's a residential style. Do you know when you put that in this coach? I think it was two or three years ago. Yeah, pretty new. And the cooktop he did and the microwave. But yeah, everything's been really well uh, updated and that's what we do here at, at Premier RV. We actually do a lot of updates on coaches. So. And people come from all over the country to come here to get it done because they know that we're all country coach or Monaco people, and we really um, have attention to detail on everything that we do. It's definitely a lot of value, yes sir. So this is a little workstation, you got your files here, a bunch of drawers, and then you have other areas where you could, you know, use as a pantry or whatever you want to do. Super clean, every cabinet we've opened, I'm not seeing any stains on these carpets, just you can tell whoever owned this coach was extremely clean. It passes the smell test. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the you first know, thing. <laughs> yeah, and do you know how many owners this coach has had? I think it's had two. Okay. Yeah, so what else is going on? Oh, back in the, we were talking earlier about the slide rooms and the size. You got a big, nice vanity sink, a lot of depth to it, too. Yeah, um, it's got to be close to four feet and that same beautiful tile work like we saw in the galley. And one thing that I'm noticing is when we came from the living room into the middle of the coach, it's almost like a master suite back here the way your bathroom flows into the room. It's like, it's just one really big room, mm -hmm. a really nice flow to yeah, it. Yeah, the bed and the sink slide out. So what's nice is you get the double pocket door here. All solid doors here too with mirrors. Yeah, full length mirrors. Everything Country does, I mean, this is a solid door. It's all built for Country Coach. They made their own pocket doors and everything. They did everything in this coach, wiring, floors, uh, front caps, back caps, uh, everything. So really quality door. Uh, but what's the benefit is that you actually have so much more space to get in and out of the shower. You know, someone's here getting ready and someone's getting out of the shower. You have a lot of maneuverability to get to the bedroom. And then the bed slides out with all that. Yeah, and those same beautiful floors flow into the bathroom and then into the water closet here with a second sink and a, a good size uh, toilet room there. I really like this wallpaper that they use. Just a lot of cool design in this coach. 
And the other cool thing is it's got the stack washer dryer. That's a 220 volt dryer also. So not like your 110 like you'd have in a typical motorhome. They didn't do a lot of stacks. It was only on this floor plan that in 07 that you could get a stack washer dryer it was in this Galileo floor plan. All the other ones would have an all-in-one combo washer dryer back here. That's what helped sell this floor plan quite a bit. And then it gave you a lot more room back here with this huge wardrobe and they did the nice wood doors. Yes, sir. That was an option for this coach instead of just a big mirror, you know? Yeah. And you have all this storage. Again, the carpet's in fantastic shape. And then more storage. So for a bedroom, it's got a lot of neck storage areas uh, for shoes and everything else. And a bedroom fan. I know a lot of people like to have a little uh, breeze while they're sleeping. We installed that. You just got to be careful when it's on not to uh, hit your head. And uh, is this a queen size bed? This is a queen size bed. So Now I've heard that you guys can switch queen size beds over to kings on some coaches. Do you think this coach has the ability to do that? Yeah, we can do that. So why they did that is that they both would get a nightstand. Mm -hmm. When you go to a, what they call a California queen, which was an option on this floor plan, instead of being 60 inches wide, it would be 66. We would just simply take this nightstand out or even that one and modify either one of them quite a bit to give you the 66. That's what the factory would have done and that's something we're capable of doing. Okay, very cool. So, yeah, that's doable. A lot of storage here, a lot of depth too. Nice. The other thing that Country Coach did really well is they did their audio video so that your front was different than your back bedroom. So you didn't have to have a switch box or anything like that. These were all alone by themselves. So you could have a DVD player here and then they took their satellite receivers here. So you could be independent from each room one or two, you know, so. Nice. Um, also five speakers here, seven up front. So you have your own sound system back here compared to the front. Makes it a lot simpler to use um, rather than having the switch box and pushing a bunch of buttons. And I gotta point out, these lights are so bright, they're messing up my camera here. Most motorhome lights don't do that, but you can just see it's very bright in here. Some of these coaches sometimes can be dark inside, but there's no shortness of light in this coach. They're, they're also dimmable, so that's good too. Okay, so cool. You could just hold the, the Intellitech light and it'll start dimming the lights on all the lights in here. Nice. Pretty cool. Really nice coach. It's all about condition, and this is one of the better coaches as far as a condition standpoint that I've seen for an 07 Magna. Louie, there's a lot of value in this coach. Now, if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? I just call Premier RV here at 541-998-2640. Awesome. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Premier RV of Oregon. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to my channel and make sure to subscribe to Premier RV of Oregon's channel as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. I greatly appreciate all of you and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.